Oh boy, it's Sunday night. It's weird to say. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. It is Sunday night, and tonight we will have one break uh, as a makeup for 825 from last night. Uh, we apologize again for the inconvenience. Uh, we were able to go to the Chicagoland Sp Spectacular, short, uh, Sports Show Spectacular, and pick up a box of Topps uh, Series 1 Jumbo. And because, again, as we promised, we feel bad that you guys had to wait an extra night for it, uh, we're going to throw in a little extra box of Top Series 1 Hobby. That's right. You get an extra box of Hobby for just being the awesome people you are and for being patient. So we'll put that back there for now. Um, all right. So real quick, this is going to be break number 825. Uh, what's up, Mike? We uh, Let me just quickly give you the eBay disclaimer. And that is that no purchase or payment is necessary to enter the eBay sweepstakes. Please check the description of our listing for the rules and regulations of said sweepstakes. All right, we got that out of the way. I'm sure people who are joining just now are uh, just figuring out this is, again, the makeup from last night. Again, appreciate your uh, patience. It is just myself tonight. Uh, Ark cannot be here, so, um, you know, I'll be sleeving as well as best as I can. So, what's up, Mr. Yellow Knife in the house? So here we go. We got a three box break, two jumbo. Maybe we should have. Yeah, we'll do one, one, one. That's what we do. We'll do, uh, do one jumbo, one hobby, and then jumbo. We have a bunch of silver packs. Uh, just got done downing some corned beef and boo. Ooh, that sounds so good. There's our two packs. All right. Empty box. So we'll put those two packs up there. And again, we'll. Uh, We'll do all the packs at the end there. All right, so let's do some jumbo, finally. A little overdue. Hopefully, we'll hit some bangers. Maybe we'll get that Kevin Hart. All right. Again, I will be sleeving as we go, so just bear with me. Again, all the rookies that we put to the side, every all card chip, but all the rookies will be put to the side and sleeved, and everything that is uh, numbered and otherwise would be top-loaded, so just bear with me. And uh, this is the Derby. So looks like that will be something, though, of course. Of course. And, you know, Ark just said, man, hopefully you don't have to do any randomizing. That bastard. Uh, so I'm going to have to randomize this to everyone in the break because it is not tied to a team. But So uh, I'll do that at the very, very end. So, okay. There's one randomization. Uh, here we go. Hunter Brown, Doo, Doo Brown, Future Stars, number 22024. So 688 out of 2024. I broke your... Si <laughs> she, she was a man, baby. You lied to me, Uncle Mike. She was a man. Um, so we got Patrick Corbin. Uh, we got Mookie. Jose Ramirez. Knew as soon as he said. Hopefully, you don't have to do any randomizing. That fucker. He had to say something. It's not even a card. It's a chance at a derby. But whatever. He said sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, broke my sister's heart. Arcs in chat. You get there. I'll tell him you can go to hell. Uh, what do we got for D Detroit? We got Eduardo Rodriguez, Grand Gamer, Willie Mays, Miguel Cabrera, Elites. Jojo Quez. All right, so. Doo-doo Brown. Numbered. Alright. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, of course he's gonna say we love her. <laughs> he's such a dick. Uh hey uh TCG brothers. Have you guys uh pulled any of those Kevin Hearts yet? 
the inserts from the Series 1? Do they even break baseball or just football? Just curious if anybody's actually pulled one of those Kevin Hart yet. We got a Hunter Green Relic. Player worn memorabilia, member memorabilia for the Reds. So there you go, the Reds on the board. You know that I gotta probably there you go. Congratulations, Hunter Green. I'm doing good. It's a nice rookie. So. Uh, I'm good. Certainly good. I got, uh, St. Patty's Day. It's my kid's birthday. So, uh, went to the card show today with Ark. Met him up there, Jordan Alvarez. The Chicagoland Spectacular Card Show in Rosemont. That was pretty cool. Just kind of went there specifically to pick up a box of this jumbo, but it's always fun to see people trying to sell last day. Trying to people trying to get good deals. A lot of the same people, a lot of the same cards that I see, so certainly after a while, that's why probably people go to like Dallas card shows and the one in California. Uh, I wish I did have some, uh, we're looking for, oh Mike, what do you want? Uh, Braves, Angels, and Braves. Braves, Angels, and Braves. <laughs> um, and I wish I did get some corned beef though, we didn't get a chance to. Let's see, Bo Bichette, Byron Buxton. The beauty of this break is I am not being hurried. I can do it at my pace. There's no other break. Um, it'd be really cool if we could pull that uh, Kevin Hart, but. And the Mariners. Awesome. Will do. That's right. I missed the bubble gum. Actually, I could. I used to love that smell. The old packs. I don't know about you guys, but when I open those old packs with the bubble gum, I'm still tempted to, to try the gum. I know that. It's obviously disgusting, but. But, you know, I'll tell you this, Soderstrom. As much as I. Royce Lewis, Raphael. I have a, I have a very small list of, of like a personal collection I'm trying to make of the 75th greatest players of the NBA. And uh, you know, I'm, and I'm my goal is to get rookie on-card autos of every one of those players, right? Uh, it's certainly, you know, I know certain ones I'm not going to be able to get for a while. Like a Michael Jordan on-card is, you know, it's just stupid expensive. So that's going to take, that's going to be like probably the last thing. Uh, you can get LeBron and Kobe and all that. But man, it's hard with some of those 1969 or 1961 players. Definitely getting a Pistol Pete, Maravich. All those, man, no matter how many times I go, every guy I ask, I'm like, you got this guy but a, uh, an autograph rookie? He goes, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, ooh, nice. Uh, why would I be joking? How about a Will Smith? Slap of that face. We all know Will Smith. 52 out of 199. 52 of 199. That's why my kid is for gum trier. Nice. <laughs> my kid's 14 now, so, you know, he doesn't fall for it. Actually, now he'll just think it's a challenge. So he'll be like, yeah, I'll do it. They're younger. They'll do whatever you want them to do, but. Dodgers. Autograph. Um, what do we got here? Long, Longoria. Matt Olson. Don Mattingly. So, yeah, I got to. I gotta get out and go to some of those shows in other states. Or maybe just go online and try to search for them. I have all my eBay searches set, but almost that almost never gonna come up there. Some of these cards are way too rare. I have lots of base and lots of cards to sleeve. All right, come on. 
Let's get hot here. Let's get hot here. We got a, a greater all, LA Dodgers. Frank the Big Hurt Thomas, South Felix. Come on, Kevin Hart, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding, Kevin? I love that the brothers just jumped in to accuse me of hurting their sister, tell me how much they love Ark, and then they just leave. What do we got here? We got a, for the Blue Jays, game use memorabilia of George Springer. That's two out of 199. Two out of 199. You're not lying, man. It, that is about the only way you're going to get the attention. Bastards. Yeah, I don't know, man. They, there's, it's, there's just so many people looking for similar stuff, but one of these days. One of these days. All right. Ken Griffey the Kid. Daniel Bard. Altuve, Arizona. Arena. De La Cruz, De La Cruz. Lots and lots of people at the show. But I was saying, I saw the same, a lot of same people, saw a lot of the same cards. Some people are just not willing to budge on their price. I'll tell you that, man. <coughs> Excuse me. They're just like, nope. I guess I'm not selling it, and I'll just carry it around. So this is going to go to the Atlanta Braves. There you go. So Mike, if you win, again, you can take me. My kid wants to know. So what is the Kevin Hart to Philadelphia? Uh, I think that's just, just like, he's like a big time Philly fan. Uh, as you probably know, he went on the field when uh, the Eagles won, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, he's big time Philly uh, fan. I think maybe he's from Philadelphia. So they, this, so Michael Rubin, I guess, decided through Fanatics to say, well, what we're going to do is we're going to, since he's five. I want to say 5'3 or 5'4. I can't remember how tall he was. Whatever the height is, they put 53 or 54 cards of... Uh, they made 53 or 54 cards of the Philadelphia Phillies where he, his face is hidden. Uh, and sometimes his whole body. The Chiro Mariners. Uh, and so they're very super, super short print because there's only 53 or 54 of them. I can't recall. But he's... I think he's just from Philly. and He's a big Philly... Um, Sports supporter, so I think that's the reason. There's actually a pretty cool, uh, I don't know if it's YouTube or TikTok or whatever it is, a video of, of, you know, obviously staged, but between Kevin Hart and Michael Rubin talking about, hey, I, you know, Kevin Hart doing his little shtick about, hey, I noticed uh, you, so they would put him like, you know, standing, you know, here as, as a little man or something, and a fill, it, they're only Phillies cards. So it's pretty funny. Dude Brown of Mitch Keller out of 2024. Two, 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 so 387 out of 2024. 2024, 2024. What do we got? We got Trent Grisham, Derek Jeter, Grand Gamer, Manny Machado. And we're almost done with box one, and then uh, we'll just hop over to the extra box we threw in, which is the hobby. All right, 
Give me one second here. I gotta move my cards over a second. I have room. There's tons of cards of this, as you probably already know. All right, so here we go. So these are those two silver packs from the first. I'm just going to leave them here on the other jumbo. So again, uh, for those who joined late, we appreciate you guys being patient with us. We were not able to break this last night because we were missing a box of jumbo. We picked it up today, and uh, we also picked up a box of this hobby. So we're going to throw this box of Series 1 hobby in for you guys for free uh, as a little extra. Oh, I bet. Mike, you better go look through those. Make sure you don't have that Kevin Hart. <laughs> There's the silver pack. I'm going to put that kind of opposite so we'll know what's from this. Not that it's going to matter, but just in case we want to know which box is super hot. See if the extra box yields anything cool. Now, we appreciate you guys coming back, being patient, being loyal customers i know there's a lot of breakers out there and we only do this once a week on saturdays with the exception obviously of this makeup but so we certainly uh love that we see a lot of you guys come back and you know this is a this is kind of like a i mean literally a hobby for us you know we don't this is not we don't have a shop we don't we do this once a week because my brother-in-law and i love doing this this is fun we, we hope to like we pulled that wemby uh Super rare Wemby uh, series uh, level four out of Court Kings yesterday. I mean that card sells for like three grand. I mean it's so cool to pull that for somebody. And you know, and this business is all about trust, right? I mean we hear horror stories all the time. So uh, and heck, I used to. I can't tell you the amount of money I've spent uh, on breaks when I was looking for my Jaws and Zions and Lucas and whatnot. So we know what it's like. Oh, yeah, that there's another one. You just got to keep looking through. There's, there's so many variations now. It's kind of almost silly, but, uh, yeah, sometimes you got to go back through the base and make sure you don't have anything cool in there. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got out of this extra box. Hopefully we get a cool auto or something or maybe we get mr kevin hart there's a patrick corbin foil keep putting my cards further away thinking that, that art's short hands are supposed to come and grab the cards for sleeving but t-rex stayed home so thank you bets Uh, he he had to stay home because he had to sort. He actually sorts all the cards on uh, Sunday from Saturday's break. So he has probably a ton to do. Tried to starve. Oh, luckily I wasn't around at that time <laughs> uh, as far as the hobby goes. Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Um, yeah, so Ark spends uh, pretty much most of his Sundays just sorting and packaging and refunding... Uh, Shipping costs, or I guess consolidating shipping costs, both Saturday's breaks. Abbott, Corey Seeger. Griffey Jr., Elites. That looks like we have a green foil board coming. All right. Green foil board of Gratterall again, or Great Rawl. It's going to be numbered out of 499, 283 of 499. Green foil board. Dodgers already have 
Uh, let's see how many. I already have a couple nice cards. Come on, get in there. All right, and then followed by a Kyle Schwarber game used memorabilia material for the Phillies. Not numbered. Uh, I don't know if our auctions are up yet for next week, for next Saturday, but I think they usually go up on Monday. I'm trying to organize this. Uh, what else? Okay, and we got another one. A doo-doo brown of Will Brennan for the Guardians. That's going to be 861 out of 2024, 2024. Nolan Arenado. Oh, he's working on them. They will be live tomorrow. There you go. Yeah, they're not, I mean, they seem like so much, like they should be better, and I'm looking, and they're not numbered or anything, so, so it's kind of like, oh, okay, Kirilov, silver, there's an Oltani, there you go. Steve all of them anyway. I don't know why I'm putting it separate. See? It'd be so cool to see a little Kevin Harden there somewhere, but not yet. For the Diamondbacks, we got another one of these. Can't believe the third card. Randomized time. Could draw, <laughs> yeah, you could. Thing that's frowned upon. That's how you uh, end up on sports card radio. If you do some stuff like that. All right, come on. What do you got for us, extra box? Other than grand gamers. Fetamine, Maderos, Tony Gwynn, Dominguez. The Kid. Ramirez. That's it. Yeah, it says autograph or relic card. So, guess we got the relic card. Oh well. All right, so we got our two and one. Put those right here. Um, we got our second jumbo. Come on, I do have a sharpie right here. <laughs> um, come on, slap it at shit. Let's go. Let's pretend this is the box we fucked up today at the show, and it's gonna have some amazing stuff in here. There's the two of this. Putting it on top here. The opposite direction. So we got five silver packs to open. Empty box. 
Here we go. Good luck, everyone. to work. We got a Henry Davis. Over. Jose Ramirez insert. Max Scherzer. So Mike, what are you thinking? Luck of the Irish. Yeah, let's hope it's the luck of the Irish. Um so you had three teams, but what's your what's your hometown team or who do you really root for as far as to you know to win independent? I'm a north side Chicago fan, so go Cubs go. Although I'm not anti White Sox. The White Sox are in the playoffs. I certainly root for them, but if I had to pick a team, it's definitely the Cubbies. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's a, it looks like a throwback to 9975. Ooh, these are awesome. I like these. Freaking Dodgers. Who's got the Dodgers? Talk about luck of the Irish. 75 of 99. Walker Bueller, pitcher. The retro card. That's a nice card. All right, we got Stotz. Yeah, these gold, the Philly gold. You'd think they'd be numbered or something, but not. Nah. Otani, Chipper Jones. Live in the Bay Area. Okay. Oakland until they turn into a minor. <laughs> got it. That's fair. That's fair. Listen. You know, the, the good old Cubbies have certainly have been heartbreakers for hoping now with the Bellinger and, you know, Morrell. I mean, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this year they give us something. Every year it's, I hope, I hope, I hope. Vintage, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Yellow Knife. That was the word I was looking for, vintage. Okay, so Blue Jays, Padres, there you go. I would certainly probably start liking whatever team my son likes because he's young. But if he got older, I'd certainly go and, uh, you know, go against him. But that's just how it goes. Christopher Morale. All right, we got Rizzo, former Cubby, Anthony Rizzo, game use memorabilia for the New York Yankees. Uh, not numbered. So... So what, everything that's Oakland's moving to Vegas now? So we got the Raiders and... Celebration of the kid. Trent Grisham. Silver. Gunner. Josh Jung. Lots of cards in base. The Vegas Bear doesn't want them. Yeesh. Going to the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. Jonathan India, Cincinnati Gold Foil. Johnny Bench. And Encarnacion Stunt. Nasty auto. 
What's up, Alex? Yeah, you're just in time. <laughs> Almost. Um, we just uh, are finishing up our third box. Uh, we, we threw in an extra box. I don't know if you saw that or not. We threw an extra box of Hobby. So for the inconvenience, oh, there's an extra silver pack. Oh, yeah. Well, Mike, if you're ever in town, send us a DM. I'm a season ticket holder right behind home plate, and it's always fun to go see the Cubs with someone who's never been to Wrigley. Bring your son, Kershaw, Andrew McCutcheon. Nice that the you know the Wrigley Field stick. I think it's still the oldest and one of the oldest. Uh, I saw Henry Davis Potch auto last night. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Who do you got, Alex? In this, if anything. I presume you do because you're here. J Rob, doo doo brown. He said, not sure. Maybe Oakland. <laughs> I love that Alice can't even keep track of what he's in anymore. Because he's a married man. Now he's got other priorities. Out of 2024, 490 out of 2024, J Rod. We got Rafaela Gold. Simeon. Insert. And Juan Soto, throwback. All right. I take my... My sweater off. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, nice. Did you get anything on the St. Patty's party? Does it help with the memory? Do you have too many? Do you go all full Guinness? Guinness, Guinness, Guinness. What's up, Rich? We got Soderstrom, Buster Posey, and Jose Canseco. We were at the, I was at the, uh, as I was mentioning with Ark earlier, at the Chicago Land Spectacular card show. Man, the lines uh, for autos was insane. They had, it was Hulk Hogan was there, Sammy Sosa, uh, Kobe White, uh, there's a couple other baseball players. I can't remember now who they were, but man, people want their autos and pictures of celebrities or professional sports. I didn't realize it was that big of a deal, but I guess it is. I think Hulk Hogan was the big draw. Now that, speaking of old school, Mr. Daryl Strawberry, one of the best ever, 188 to 199. Hearing stories about him and, you know, the Mets and all the crazy shit that they did. That's nice. I like that. Daryl Strawberry to 199 Did not expect to pull a Daryl Strawberry tonight. That is sweet. Who's got the Mets? Daryl Strawberry to 199 Oh, it's cool. His number, I think, is 18. It's... 188 but not the same you, you make you could probably make an ebay one of one out of it but what a year the s the 86 months that was hearing about nails dykstra and all that stuff that they did man Freilich, aaron judge bonias took his pace through the 2035 season shut up is that for real 
Bobby Bonilla is still getting paid for why is that? How is that? That's like almost like an Otani contract. Doesn't Otani get paid like after his uh tenure or some crazy thing? That's crazy. Damn. Some of these guys uh, certainly have faith in their uh not only longevity but also their skills. Good for them. Wow, that's how about you that 1.5 million went a long way back in 86 or whatever. And when he started it, not so much now. I mean 1.5 is nothing to sneeze at. I mean it's still pretty freaking awesome for being retired, but still. Not getting the same distance on that 1.5 like you used to. Cocaine's a powerful drug. Uh, celebration of the kid. We got uh, M Michael Garcia. Michael? Michael Garcia. Uh, Pete Alonzo. Rutschman. The Pats will still owe Brady. Damn. Yeah, listen. I guess it's not the worst thing to get a bit of a back end deal. Some of these big movie stars make the most money on the back end. Like I'll take less salary and just pay me uh, points on my on the movie, and then they make you know hundred million dollars for a movie that goes gangbusters. All right, we got Eddie Murray. Talk about old school, Eddie Murray for the Orioles game used memorabilia. Jeez, Eddie Murray. Not numbered, Eddie Murray. There's Willie Castro, gold. Felix Bautista, Nolan Chanuel. Chanuel. All right, Ellie, 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 de la Cruz, Rodriguez. Getting to the end here. So let's get to the good stuff. Hopefully we get some color today. All right. Oh, have you? Brady? You pulled Brady's auto, or who are you talking about? Oh, Eddie Murray's. Okay, got it. Slap those blue plate specials. Good. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is from the, let's say from the one that we bought at the show. This is from the non-hobby, the jumbo. We got Adley Rutschman for Baltimore. Nolan Schoenewell for the Angels. Robin Yount. Robin Young for the Brewers, Millie Wauke, and Curtis Mead for the Rays. <laughs> I will slap it. I'll slap that shit. Hey, it worked last night. We got that Wemby, level four. Junior Caminero, rookie. Bo Jackson for the Royals. Jose Altuve for the Astros. And there's a nice Ellie De La Cruz. There you go, Ellie. Sweet. All right, so this would have been from the hobby. Ryan Wu, rookie for the Mariners. Cal Ripken for the Orioles. Masataka Yoshida for the Red Sox. And Anthony Rizzo for the Yankees. Okay, down to two. Come on. Come on, bitch. Pimp flap it. Uh, Owen White for the Rangers. Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays. 
Verlander for the Astros, and Encarnacion Strand, rookie for the Reds. Oh boy, last pack magic. Come on, give me some color, damn it. Poor people waited. Ugh, I hate. Mike Trout Angels. Yes, Dominguez for the Yankees. Tatis for the Padres. And Buster Posey for the Giants. No color. And just to be sure, I'll double check that there's no numbers, no variations. Nope. No numbers, no variations. Boo. All right. Uh, we have a randomization to do, but first let me uh, do a quick recap here for you. So we had some. Let's do it this way. We had uh, some Doo Doo Browns out of 2024 of J Rod, Will Brennan, Mitch Keller, Hunter Brown, and we had the vintage Walker Bueller out of 99, 75 of 99 for LA Dodgers. We did have a green foil board of Gretarol, once again for the Dodgers out of 4.99. Our relics were Eddie Murray, the Orioles, uh, Anthony Rizzo for the Yankees, Kyle Schwarber for the Phillies, a numbered George Springer out of 199 for the Blue Jays, and a Hunter Green for the Reds. We did get two autos, Daryl Strawberry and Will Smith. The Daryl Strawberry was numbered to 199 and the Will Smith was numbered to also 199. So we have, let me guess, let me see here for a second here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that what we were supposed to get? Yep, the two autographs, so that'd be two, four, and six. So we actually got an extra relic. One, two, three, four, five. No, my bad, we didn't. We got exactly what we were supposed to. All right, give me a minute here while I set this up for the giveaway. Not, uh, not giveaway, I'm sorry. The random. I don't typically do this, so... Usually Ark's idea. You'd think we would have like a whole list of teams. Yeah, right, Rich? Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Uh, you think we would have uh, like a list of all the teams already like all set aside, but that's not how we do things here at Wax Zone. It's called Job Security for Ark. Make sure everything's difficult. All right, let me see here. All right, here we go. Randomizer, list randomizer, paste, random.org, where is the dice roller? All right, now I got to get This thing to show up there. So I believe it's yeah. See, yeah, you say yeah. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at this, guys. It's amazing what I'm able to do sometimes. Hold on, let me close this damn thing here. All right, so I presume you could see this. Can't. Oh well. Uh, 
All right. So here we go. Uh, yes, we got an extra box. The hobby box, that's right. Uh, all right, here we go. So I'm going to roll two dice. That's three, five. So I got all the teams in here. Arizona all the way down to Washington Nationals. This is a randomizer for the Derby Duel. So I'm going to run it five times. One, two, three, four. And the top team is Boston Red Sox. Five times. Boston Red Sox. All right, so Boston, you get this. You're never going to get this. Hold on. All right, let me just put Boston on here. Again, guys and gals, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being patient, and uh, we appreciate you guys coming back on Sunday to watch. Hopefully, you have a great week, and hopefully we see you Saturday. We have more breaks planned, uh, lots more. So thank you. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your St. Paddy's Day. Mike, thank you for the conversation. Rich, everyone, guys. Uh, Alex, have a great night. See ya.